Today we're going to be talking about my G8 and the Torque Storm Supercharger Kit that we put on it. Um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the engine and everything that's in it. I have a few videos on our YouTube about the installation of the Torque Storm Supercharger Kit and the Intercooler Kit, but we're going to answer a little more questions today, so I hope this helps. So in the engine, we have a BTR stage four centrifugal blower cam, BTR push rods, BTR dual valve springs, um, also a BTR trunnion upgrade. Um, I know a lot of people feel that BTR stuff doesn't work on these G8s, um, but we've had no problems. We've had everything but the cam in the car for a few years now, um, and we also have a melling oil pump. <laughs> <laughs> the supercharger and intercooler kits were a pretty easy install. It took about a weekend to install both of them. They both came with straightforward instructions and Jeff at Mr. Billing Motorsports was able to answer any of the questions we had during the install. Um, the hardest part of the install was pinning the crank but they do have instructions and a kit to help with that. I do have a time-lapse video on our YouTube of both installs. The intercooler kit comes with all the piping and a Treadstone intercooler. It usually keeps the temps 40 to 60 degrees above ambient temperature, and we've had no issues with overheating, even on super hot days at the track. Um, we're still on pump gas. I'm running 1050 injectors. Um, I've got a DW300 fuel pump, which is actually, um, I can get access to it. I get access to the fuel pump by this G8 only fuel pump access cover. Um, it's in the rear seat, so it's actually pretty easy to take off the seat and get right in there if I need to change it or see what's going on with it. My exhaust setup is inch and three quarter pace setter headers. I have a two and a half inch straight pipe exhaust going to an X pipe. And then at the rear is the solo axle back. My transmission is a stock 6080, but we also have a Circle D 3400 triple disc converter, which was set up for when I was NA. So we're actually going to send that out this winter and get it restalled for boost. We also have a Camaro SS 327 rear diff. My street tires are what's on it right now. Um, they're niche rims, you can see. For racing, I have Ford Star 17 inch with a 26 inch tall 275 tire that we leave on um, just during the summertime. We normally put these on during the winter just so we have it sitting and can still roll it around. My suspension setup is just Maverick man coilovers for right now. Um, we're looking at what to get during the winter for next race season. My tuner, David Glanzer with Glanzer Performance, is super knowledgeable. He got my car going even faster than I thought it was going to with the 3-4 shift and the 6L80 gone. He's super knowledgeable about these cars and the 6L80 transmission, so if you have one and are needing a tuner, definitely hit him up. I'll put a link either in the description or somewhere here. <laughs> um, we are taking my car to him in the spring. He's very good at remote tuning, but we want to make sure that we take it to him and get the full experience and get some dyno numbers for y'all. So it's the beginning of the summer, this past summer, we got it on the dyno to get it tuned. It made 575 rear wheel horsepower.
<laughs> Future plans for it over the winter, we're going to put it on the smaller pulley. It's the 3.1 pulley. We are also putting a fuel cell in it, a 20 gallon fuel cell, and um, doing a whole fuel system to go E85. We are also taking out the transmission and getting it built. We are also changing out the injectors from the 1050s to 1650s. We are looking at doing a suspension, uh, maybe a 15 inch conversion as we already have the brakes for it, thanks to Lex. Then we'll haul off to South Dakota and go get it tuned by Glanzer Performance. If anybody is interested in the Torque Storm Supercharger Kit and the Intercooler Kit, I will throw a link in the description below and I will give you my code for $50 off. So that's about it. That's all I have on the Torque Storm. And what our future plans are for it. So thanks for watching and we'll see you later.